Hey, John Cruz here, and I've got the entire Little John and Fat John lineup right in front of me. As you can see, we've got depth ranges from zero to two feet all the way down to 25 feet. Uh, now I have designed each one of these baits specifically for a reason. I mean, when I say I've designed them, I mean, I have put them on graph paper with exact dimensions uh, that we've given to the manufacturer to build the baits exactly to my specs. As you can see, I mean, just, you know, perfect details. I get the baits back in a prototype form. So I get the baits back in, in prototype form uh, after they, they try the first time. Most of the time we get uh, you know, one or two versions before we get the baits right. Uh, sometimes we've, we've had as many as three or four versions. Uh, I have to play around with the weight just to get the baits to run exactly how I want them. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire lineup and exactly why each one is the way they are. Now let's get these things out of the package. Bam. That was easy. Uh, so here we are. Got all the all the little Johns right here, and then the two fat Johns right here. Now I'm gonna start with the original little John. This is the little original little John 50, which stands for 50 millimeters. Uh, when you hear the number at the end of the little John or the fat John, that that stands for how many millimeters the body size is long. Now this is the 50 millimeter little John. Uh, original one. Uh, now what happened when I originally uh, got connected with Spro, uh, Dean Rojas had worked with me at another hard bait company and he and I talked a lot about crankbaits and what made them run certain depths and what made them do certain things and when he went over to Spro to design the infamous, I would say famous and infamous, uh, bronze eye frog which is far and away my favorite frog, it, that he, he, they asked him who should we bring over to uh, design some crankbaits? He suggested me, uh, came over and, and the rest is history. Uh, but this was the one we did originally. It's got a soft tungsten weight transfer system in it, as do all of the Little Johns. They have that soft tungsten weight transfer system in it, which helps them cast. They're flat-sided baits. This is a flat-sided crankbait. Uh, I told a Spro initially, I said I wanted a flat-sided crankbait with a computer chip bill that had some sort of weight transfer system in it that would uh, that would help the bait cast a long way so this is a small compact bait uh, has a slow float i wanted that in all the flat sided baits has a slow float and you can cast it a long ways now it, now this this bait excels anytime you're going to be um having fish less than you know five feet this bait runs right about five feet on say 12 pound test that's what i normally throw it on 12 pound fluorocarbon sometimes i'll drop down to 10 if i want to get the bait a little bit deeper I won't go heavier than 14. 14 is about the limit. I've caught fish on uh, on bigger, but uh, 14 is about the limit where you start to inhibit the action of it. Uh, great around rocks. This is a really good bait around grass lines, uh, hydrilla, uh, eelgrass, anything like that that you, you can pull a crankbait through. Uh, this is a really good crankbait for, for doing that. And it's got that tight pivoting action. Now this bait likes to pivot back like this. The whole, it doesn't roll a lot because of the flat sides and the, the way we've designed it, uh, but the bait pivots when it when it runs, so it's got a definitely a unique action, uh, and it's almost a year-round bait. Definitely very good in the pre-spawn. This color right here is called Spring Crawl. It's called Spring Crawl for a reason. Uh, it is one of the top sellers, if not the top seller, in the Little John and the Little John MD, which I'm gonna get to next. So that's the original Little John 50. Now the original, the, the Little John, MD is medium diver. Uh, and it has a totally different action than the original Little John. Same body size, same body length, same body weight, same same gamakatsu, sticky sharp, number five treble hooks on there. You can upsize to, to number uh, fours if you want. I don't recommend it. Uh, you don't need to, you're gonna get hung up more. Uh, you can go down to sixes. You shouldn't have any problems there either. You can go either way on that. But the, the MD has a, a clear Lexan bill 
and the line tie is off of the body. That, that changes up the bait quite a bit. As you can see, the, the line tie is, is off the body, and what that does is it makes the bait swim more when it comes through the water, like that. <coughs> it, comes, it comes through the water, um, and it comes through cover amazingly well. I mean, you can throw this thing right into a treetop, a lay down, a brush pile, whatever, and it, it's gonna walk its way right through because of the way that bait uh, swims as it, as it moves and the hooks, the hooks fold back up and that bill protects the, protects the hooks as well. So, uh, so that's the Little John MD. Like I said, great around any type of brush, cover, anything like that. I'll throw that on the same as the original Little John. You know, 10 or 12 pound test, I've gone down to eight just to get it a little bit deeper. And it still has that slow float, really, really good in the pre-spawn, but also good you know, all summer, tidal fisheries, uh, all kinds of places like that. Now, as we get a little bit bigger, we're going up to the Little John DD60. Also known as the Baby DD. I call it the Baby DD. Uh, but the, the body length is 60 millimeters. As you can see, this color is called uh, Real Perch. It is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the newer colors we've got out. Uh, this bait uh, on 12 pound test, it's gonna run about 10 to 13 feet. You know, on a long cast, you can definitely get it down to about 13 feet. Uh, I, I've caught just hundreds and hundreds of fish on it. This is a really, really good crankbait for smallmouth. Um, now, a lot of people have, have learned that you can crank smallmouth out of you know, deeper grass and uh, deeper areas, uh, not super deep. This, the bait does not have to be hitting the bottom on the, on the smallmouth crankbait bite like that. Uh, you can just be cranking it along and they will come up and, and uh, teetotal truck it. Uh, but that, that baby DD is one that I like for that. Plus, I mean, at the, uh, at the 2020 Bassmaster Classic, it, you know, it, it provided, I think, three of the keepers for me one day when I was on an offshore area about, you know, eight to 10 feet deep rock roadbed kind of area. Uh, caught a bunch on on the baby DD or the the little John DD 60, whichever one you want to call it. Um, but that bait, I usually throw it on 12 pound test almost 100% of the time. Uh, that's 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 the uh, little John baby DD as I like to call it. And then as we go up a little bit, we've got the little John XL 70. Now we're moving up bigger body sizes, 70 millimeters long, still flat sides. This is just basically a larger version of the original 50. Uh, here's the original 50, here's the 70. I played around with some different uh, bill lengths and some bill angles until I decided on, on this one right here. Now this bait will run about seven to nine feet deep on 14 pound test. That's usually what I throw on it, 14 pound fluorocarbon. The bait, the bait runs uh, really good. It comes through cover amazingly well, uh, comes through rock and comes through grass. And with that bigger profile, it has that same pivoting action that the uh, original Little John does. So that bait will, will, uh, will come through cover well and it has a very, very unique action and profile for a bait that runs in that depth range. And now I've, I've made super long casts on it with it, um, you know, with like 12 pound test and been able to get it down to 10, 12 feet of water. Uh, but most of the time I'm gonna throw it on 14. I just think it's a, uh, it fits the bait well, the 14. It's, it's, not a, it's not an oversized square bill. This is an oversized flat sided crankbait. And, and it gets a little, like I said, it gets a little bit deeper. So it gives that profile and that vibration down to fish um, that, that normally don't see it. Immediately after the spawn, when those fish get out there on those shallower points, those shallower areas and they're feeding on those bigger shad that XL is really really tough to beat now I've caught some some giant bass on it uh, you know at places like Lake Fork you know big bass fishery those fish are not always super deep that bait has uh, has done the job for me but then we're gonna get into uh, one of my absolute favorites I don't, I don't know that I have a favorite in the lineup but this is the, the Little John DD70. Uh, 70 millimeters long, 
deep diver, has the bigger, unique shape bill. And there is, I promise you, there, there are no crankbaits like any of these right here. I've designed each one of them individually to be completely different and kind of fill a niche in the market and in my tackle box. And this one is, is no different. Uh, that bill shape and bill angle, there, there's really nothing, I know there is, there's nothing like it, especially when I designed it. There was nothing like it on the market. This is homemade Chad, one of my absolute favorite new colors. Just, just super pretty, super pretty. And I like that flash when I'm, when I'm deep cranking. Now this bait, when you put it on 12 pound test, make a good long cast with it, make a good long cast. It's gonna probably gonna get down in that 15 to 18 foot range. Now you can get them deeper. You can make a little bit longer cast. You can stroll them. Uh, you can drop down to 10 pound test. You can definitely get them down to, to 20 feet if you, uh, you know, really try, but on a consistent casting basis, it's gonna be somewhere in that 15 to 18 foot range as far as the, the depth comes through cover amazingly well because of the way that, that bait runs. And then just like the Baby DD, it has what I call an Xing action. And there's not any other deep diving crankbaits that have this particular action that I call Xing action. And what I mean by that is it Xs back and forth. The line tie actually jumps back and forth where, it, where the line ties to the bait it actually jumps back and forth because of the Xing action of the body when it comes through the water. That helps uh, pull grass off if you should get grass or something on the bill. And it just gives the fish a totally different action that they don't normally see at that depth range. They see a lot of uh, Strike King 6XDs, which are great crankbaits. Uh, they see a lot of, you know, DT16s, DT14s, DT20s. Rapala made, you know, Fritz, they got together and made a great deep diving crankbait there. Uh, you know, your Pose 400, th th those are very good deep diving crankbaits. This one is just a totally unique shape, size, flat sides, uh, unique action, different. And I have caught hundreds and hundreds of bass on it. Uh, when I came in third at Lake Gunnersville in a Bassmaster event a number of years back, I caught uh, about, I think, all but one of my way keepers on this particular crankbait right there over, over the course of four days. I didn't have 100 pounds, but I was I was close. Um, and then sometimes the Little John DD70 is not quite deep enough. So we did the Little John Super DD90. Now this is, it runs 90, 90 millimeters body length, very long bait. Uh, you know, with the Strike King 8XD and the 10XD especially uh, coming out, a lot of anglers were fishing that those super deep diving crankbaits is what I call them. Some other manufacturers have come out with, with super deep diving crankbaits, and I wanted one that brought the Little John DD action, that, that Xing action, to a bigger bait. Now what happened was when we went longer with the body size, it wanted to it wanted to start swimming a little bit and it does it swims a little bit so as this bait comes through the water it swims a little bit not it doesn't x on its own axis like the like the other little johns it it actually swims a little bit more like the md but just a super larger version and what that does is it's it's kind of a, a subtle super de super deep diving crankbait now what i mean by subtle is that it's not it's not loud there's not not any rattles in there. There's a soft tungsten weight transfer system in there that goes back and forth, but there's nothing loud in that bait. Um, so this bait will get consistently in that 22 to 24 foot range. A 10 XD is about a, between two to four feet deeper uh, consistently on, on a cast. But man, I have, I've caught a bunch of fish on this bait right here. And when, when conditions line up and those fish get out there 18 to 24 feet of water, and you need something, you need a crankbait to get out there and scratch the bottom, the, the Little John Super DD90 is the one to do it. And uh, now going backwards, going back to, uh, to, to some, some of my little buddies right here, this is the, the Fat John 60. Sixty millimeter body length, and it's still a flat side, but it's fatter than, than the other the other Little Johns, you know, so it's, you know, con considerably fatter than the original Little John 50, and it's definitely more of a square bill crankbait. Now, I went through a lot of versions of this. Uh, 
probably in the six or eight different versions to get the bill angle uh, just right. That was key. I studied basically every square bill on the market, old and new, when, when I designed this a number of years back. And this bait, when it has that, that it has a little more roll than any of these other baits, it has a little more roll and it has that hard square bill thump, which you would expect. But the unique part of it is that that bait, as you reel it, if you get in a swimming pool or somewhere that has super clear water and you pitch that bait out there and reel it in, you can see that bait kind of quiver and hunt around off of center. And you can you can reel it as fast as you want to reel, and it's not gonna it's not gonna blow out, it's not gonna go anywhere, but it's gonna it's gonna reel back to you with that I call it it comes alive. You know the first time that I that I nailed the bill shape, the bill angle, everything, I had thrown so many so many times in in a swimming pool trying to get this thing dialed in exactly right, and I finally I pitched it I pitched it out there once we uh, once we had this one on there. I, I pitched it out there, I reeled it in, and the best term that I could come up with was it came alive. You know, instead of just wiggling and coming straight back, it started wiggling and, and hunting around, and that, that really, we really dialed that in. And so there were times, this bait runs about uh, four, four feet deep on 14 pound tests. Now you can, if you make a really long cast, you might even almost get it down to five. It's kind of unique that it's a deeper, almost a deeper diving standard square bill crankbait still very, very buoyant like a square bill uh, so I, I wanted something that was running a little shallower and a little smaller profile so we did the the little John or excuse me the fat John 50 this is what I call the baby fat John and it's only 50 millimeters long but it's it's a little fatter it's not completely flat sides it's a little bit more rounded and that was the only way I could get the bait to run exactly how I wanted. And as you can see, the bill angle is totally different. It's a, it's a little steeper than the, than the Fat John. And it's a super wide bill on there. I, try, I've, I tried probably 10 different bill shapes to get this thing to run exactly how I wanted to. The, so the baby Fat John, it'll only run about two feet deep at, at most. And it'll run about two feet deep. Uh, it casts very well, fishing on 14 pound test most of the time, but the very unique part is, is the Fat John hunts and it, and it comes alive. The baby Fat John goes crazy. Man, it, it has that nice, you know, square bill crankbait thump and wobble and roll, but it'll, it'll kick off, you know, six inches to a foot off center on any given cast. And you, you can't over crank it. You can crank it as fast as you want to crank it and it'll just keep, keep jumping back side to side. Now, a friend of mine, I gave him one of these baits and I was telling him that, you know, it, it has this, this crazy hunting action. He threw it next to a floating dock and reeled it. And he said he was looking at the bait and then all of a sudden the bait disappeared. It went up under the floating dock. And then he kept reeling and the bait popped back out. And then it wiggled and then the bait popped under the floating dock. He, he went away again and then it came back out. And he thought, he thought his eyes were playing tricks on him that the bait was disappearing and so he he was wiping his eyes and you know he threw it back out there and then he he realized that the bait was just hunting that hard and that far off of center uh, and that's what the baby fat john does and it, it it's got number four gamakatsus on it uh, so it's got it's small bait with big hooks and i've caught caught a ton of fish on this as well i know a lot this really excels in the fall when those fish get back there in those real shallow pockets and a lot of the, the bottom, you know, start to get leaves on the bottom or debris, things like that. You need to keep that bait up off the bottom. That, that baby Fat John, that is uh, absolutely a crusher. So here's the, that's the whole Little John and Fat John lineup. And like I said earlier, we've always got baits coming. You know, the Spro has plenty of other baits. I didn't want to, to make this a, a unbelievably long video. Mike McClellan has done a tremendous job with the RK crawlers slash rock crawlers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I started out with the original one, then he went down to the MDs and the 50s, and man, he's gotten himself a whole lineup of, of crankbaits that are, you know, he designed them for the Ozark lakes out there, uh, wiggle wart type, type lakes, but man, they work everywhere, I can tell you that. And he's also got the mixed sticks, and then of course, Russ Lane has the, the Fat Papa crankbaits, those do very well and he's got the fat papa square bills 
I mean, those those catch catch tremendous fish. They are very close. Those ones are very close to what you know the old balsa bees and the old balsa square bills are. That's what he wanted. Totally different from the Fat Johns. Great compliment to the Spro lineup overall. And then of course uh, Rojas with the uh, with the frogs and 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 Bill with his uh, all of his swim baits, his creations and uh, rats and so forth. So the Spro lineup is is quite elaborate. It's going to continue to grow. Uh, these are the ones that hopefully can help you figure out which crankbait you might need for certain situations. And if you got any more questions about the lineup right here or the other Spro lineup, uh, be sure to message me or comment down below. Let me know what you want to know, and I'll do my best to to check the comments and reply back to you. Thanks for watching.